Uh, hi guys, welcome to Zentech and Learning. And today, uh, in this uh, particular video, I'm going to tell you how to install the support assist on your machine. So there are a few things I believe uh, lots of you guys were facing an issue with support assist. Like some of you mentioned in the comments, like you are not able to download the support assist, or some of you basically having an issue with the support assist where you were not able to install the fresh new support assist in your machine. So I'm gonna give you the solution for all these questions in this video. So let's start this video without wasting any time. So first thing I would explain you how to clean uninstall the support assist. So it's a very important because the app which is running in your machine that is support assist that is malfunctioned. It is not even maybe it is not running properly or maybe the supporting files uh, is corrupted in your machine. So that maybe there is one of the reason it is not responding. So it's better to clean uninstall the support assist from the machine. So how to do that? Let me perform the first step. So first of all, make sure you are the admin of the machine. You should not be a uh, user because the user does not have any permission to delete that. So what you need to do in that case, so I have the support assist. This is the support assist in my machine. All right, so this particular support assist, I want to clean uninstall that. So first of all, I have to write in the search icon appwiz.cpl. Appwiz.cpl, we have to type here and uh, we have to just hit the enter. Uh, either you can uh, left click on it, just double click, and uh, it will ask you, you want to uninstall the support assist? So I would click on yes. So now again, I will click on yes. So this is going to uninstall the support assist from my machine. So you might have to wait two, three minutes. In the meanwhile, it will be removing all the you know, it's uh, associated files from the machine and deleting all the it's uh, associated data from the machine. But again, uh, this is not going to be a clean uninstallation of the support assist. I will give you the other steps that you can perform to clean uninstall the support assist from your machine. All right, so stay tuned and please do not skip the video. Otherwise, you are going to miss the some important step. I have to get this done 100%. So how we are going to do that, then before uh, going with the fourth step, then we have to go back to the, this yellow icon. We have to go to this PC. We have to go inside to the C drive where I have installed the support assist, where my support assist was running. So you need to, when you go to the C drive, on the right hand side, there's a search icon. All right, do you see that? still the application is showing because I have not restarted the machine because uh, I don't want to lose this uh, you know communication so I will do it in the last so right now yeah the restart is required because this app will be showing here till the time you do not do it all right so support assist this one I'm searching for it I will uh, be getting some of the files associated to support assist. I've, I I also want to delete all of them. So this is very important thing, very necessary steps that you basically do not remember to perform on your machine. And directly you go ahead and try to install the support assist. That create the problem. So reinstallation, I'll do it once I'll, I will delete these all the files. All right, so these files are related to my recorder. So I recorded this video, so I'm not going to delete that. But I'm going to delete this, uh, you know, Internet Explorer files. I will select them like this. I will right click and delete them all. Click on yes. All right, it uh, will be removed. Delete, yes. OK, now let's do one thing. Let's uh, shift and delete altogether permanently. All right, so maybe it is uh, deleted. It is not there in the system, but it is showing here. So you can close it. Once you delete all of them, then you can close it and then just restart the machine. Just restart the machine. So I'm going to restart your machine. Right now, I'm going to restart the machine. 
routine has been restarted and uh, now what we have to do we have to just uh, look for the support assist so if I'm gonna search here earlier uh, it was showing here when I was typing support assist now the document only which I see here this is the support assist uh, recording file which I recorded from my Camtasia recorder all right in the search icon if you do not see any support assist application here that's mean the support assist is completely removed from your machine if you talk about this one so this is just a dot exe file which I downloaded this is not the installed application this is the dot exe setup file which I can utilize again for installing in my machine but let me uh, give you the fresh information how you are gonna install the support assist it's a very simple you can come here and you can just type here support assist for Dell machine and hit the enter support assist for Dell machine and you get a couple of links so I, I do I do see a couple of links so let's click on this one support assist for home PCs right so you hit on that and then uh, you will be here on this page so this page is basically this is the information provided by the dell.com forward slash support forward slash contents so you need to look for the support assist download option so this is the one which uh, I I'm looking for this is the download option download support assist you simply hit on that and when you hit on that what it is going to do it is going to install the support assist dot exe so simply you have to just uh, go to the download folder and just double click on this one when you double click on it it will be popped up let me show you up you simply hit on yes and uh, the downloading will start it will be started has been completed now it is showing launch if we have to click on launch in case if it is not opening then I will give you one more solution for it now it is good to go I will click on this arrow now this is working for me let me click on either one let me run the tune-up performance so let's say if it is not working for you it is working for me but it's if it is not working for you then then there may be another fix for you that you need to for perform so first of all I'm gonna check that these all the functions are working properly and, and uh, perfect it's running smoothly fine and let's suppose if it is not running then there's a fix for it you need to just type here services looking for the services for Dell so the Dell service name is the so Dell client services Dell client services where it is yeah that uh, this is the one Dell client management service so this service should be running up and running let's suppose if uh, the status is not showing enable it is showing disable or the services is not running right is stop it is coming here is stop let me show you up how it will be looking like disable so if any service is not running in your machine you will uh, get either this uh, option you will get the failed or you will get the disabled either one so this service is running in my machine if it is not running then I will just right click right click on it and restart all right and or refresh first of all I will click on refresh and then restart so once I refresh or restart then after I will see here the status will be changed the status it will be showing enabled or running all right it should be enabled or running so this service make sure it should be enabled because I have seen that I was working in Dell some time back so most of my Dell users they were getting the same issue they have the services disabled here they did lots of troubleshooting but there was no result because the services was not running even hundred times you will uninstall reinstall the support assist it will not be running 
up and fine. So this is also a fix, permanent fix for the support assist. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and still if you have any concern just feel free to mention in a comment section and if you have any suggestion you can also share with us thank you so much guys for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye take care